Good morning, everybody. How are we today? Oh, let me see. I don't even have my music on yet. Um, <laughs> how are we getting on? Uh, stations. What do we usually do? We usually do a bit of lo-fi. Ooh, who do we have here? We have a resub from Dragonblood. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> Hello, Dragonblood. Welcome, welcome, and thanks for the resub. Six months, you are a total legend. Uh, let me turn on some music for you. There we go. What do we got? What does that sound like? Pretzel, yeah, you can hear that. Nice. Good to have you, Dragon Blood. Good to see you as ever. So, <clears throat> the plan that we have for today is quite simple. Oh, um, let me my dashboard. Does it work? It does. Oh, I'm going to change the default styles. Uh, previous item. There we go. So, <coughs> last week, last week we have finally uh, succeeded on the community challenge to, uh, what, how was it phrased? Let me go ahead and have a look. Build something from Front End Mentor in Ember. We raised, we did the, it was like 15,000 uh, channel points. We need a name for the channel points, by the way. Um... And the, the goal is to go in to Front End Mentor and do one of their tools. Oh, okay. There we go. Just share my... Let me just really quickly... Get my email on stream. That's a great idea. Perfect thing to do. Uh, continue. Oh, do I want to join this Slack community? <sighs> uh, fine, I'll join. Continue to the site. Okay, there we go. I should have known that there was going to be a bunch of stuff there. Anyway. So this is Frontend Mentor. The idea of Frontend Mentor is that they have a bunch of... Uh, your feed is empty right now. Challenges. They have a bunch of challenges that they want you to build using various technologies, and then people then go and share those solutions using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, API, etc., etc. And... Uh, I thought it might be a good idea to try and build one of these things on um, with Ember. Because the whole idea is that once you're done, you can upload them and then they're available for people to see how it's done in that particular framework, language, etc, etc. So, that's what the idea was. And People seem to like this idea, so a bunch of people use their channel points to tell me to do it. So here I am doing it. Uh, and I want to, no, I want to filter by, requires JS. Yes, so I want it to require JS. Oh, memory game. Match pairs. That looks very good. Time tracking dashboard. So, they seem to have them based on skill. Okay, I, I'm not going to pay for this for now. What is free plus? What's the difference between free and free plus? If 
can find a free plus. Oh, actually, we'll filter by free plus. What does free plus mean? This <laughs> uh, front end mentor free plus. Free plus means it doesn't make any sense. Okay. We want f something free, I think. Oh, this looks interesting. Yeah, so I think we might want to do something either advanced or intermediate. And I think I want to do something with interactivity. So we had. Oh, where's the. Oh, is it premium? Uh... Oh, there's a guru. Uh... Most recent. Oh, the memory game is advanced. Oh, that's sad. Anyway. Free is a good idea, and we want to sort by difficulty hardest first. <laughs> oh, Lox, what do you like? What do you like? Thank you for joining, Lox. I will do a Rust challenge on exorcism after this Pomodoro. Boop, 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 boop. Welcome, welcome. I'll have to, <laughs> I'll have to make that. Uh, community challenge a bit more expensive so that I don't have to do one every week especially when I've got a short week today I think I'm only going to be streaming for about an hour but you know the way that my morning has been I wanted to I wanted to stream anyway launch countdown timer This one looks interesting. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, you don't get your Figma designs. Oh, this is where the pro thing comes in. <sighs> Build yearly. Monthly. Build every month. Make solutions private on solution screenshots. Ugh. This challenge will test your HTML, CSS, and JavaScript skills. This is even rock, paper, scissors. Little Spock version, if you want to challenge yourself. I think we have to do this one, don't we? You're catching up on Advent of Code, the locks. Well, I told you that I was doing 24 pull requests and I have done maybe zero pull requests this December. So I am very behind on the seasonal, um, the seasonal thingamajigs. <laughs> this stream can be considered a PR. Oh yeah, you said that you can like, more general. Yeah, okay. Okay. And last week's stream as well. Okay, we are going to try out Rock, Paper, Scissors, Lizard, Spock, in Ember. Okay, maybe... Let's move that. Copy, get, streaming. Ooh. Uh, paste item. Okay. Oh, 
Let's see if we're gonna open it. Okay. Open it in. By word. Okay. That's not quite that useful. <laughs> this is interesting. Okay, let's open this up. We'll have a quick look at it and we're not really going to um we're not going to do all that much today because I don't have that much time and now I have to do a a rust challenge thanks to locks. Um CD git streaming CD rock paper scissors master and then I'm going to open that atom. Sorry, I'm doing this on a different screen. Just wanted to do it while my atom was open. Make it as big as possible. Okay, so what do we got? We got a readme. Design. So we have design, desktop preview. Welcome, thanks for checking out this front-end coding challenge. Front-end mentor challenges help you improve your coding skills by building realistic projects. To do this challenge, you need basic understanding of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Challenges to build out this rock, paper, scissors game and get it looking as close to the design as possible. You can use any tools you like to help you complete the challenge. If you've got something you'd like to practice, feel free to give it a go. We do have something that we want to practice. I should make this bigger as well, if you want to read along. Your users should be able to view the optimal layout for the game, depending on their device's screen size, play rock, paper, scissors against the computer, maintain the state of the score after refreshing the browser. Ooh, interesting, refreshing the browser. Bonus, play rock, paper, rock, Paper, scissors, lizard, Spock against the computer. Rules. If the player wins, the game one point. If the computer wins, the player loses one point. Paper beats. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? <coughs> I suppose it's... Uh, this is uh, exponential growth, isn't it? Three items. Uh... <laughs> is uh, there are three options but with five items there are many options clip from the Big Bang Theory of course uh, join our Slack community where to find everything your task is to build the project and designs inside the design folder bonus original Oh, there's modals as well. That's interesting. What do we have? We have a new follower. Anth codes. Oh, I should probably... Uh... Do not disturb, just in case I get any other messages. Uh, Anth codes, is that uh, how I pronounce it? Good to have you in the stream. Welcome, welcome. So this is the mobile version. This is the desktop version. Okay, okay, this is fine. These are the designs, and then we have the bonus. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. A little bit ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is going to be so cool when it's done. If I ever get there. <laughs> this is just too ridiculous. Oh, what am I doing to myself? Uh, first time chat. Hello, Anth Codes. Hello. Oh, hey. Welcome, welcome. I do remember you. I remember those conversations. They were, they do feel like an age and a half ago. Uh, 
I remember you were doing you were doing a startup at the time. How's that going on? Beers, yes, of course. How is how is work for you, Anth Codes? Uh, you'll find all the required assets and images. Okay, so that's uh, SVGs. They're all SVGs. That's good. That's fantastic. Thanks, folks. Uh, building a project. Configure repository. Publish your codes to a web address. It also be useful. You need some help during a challenge. You can share the URL to your project with the repo URL. Number of ways to do this and compare some recommendations. Look through the designs to start planning out IO tackle project. This step is crucial to help you think ahead for CSS classes. Style structure and content. Channel first can help focus your attention on creating well structured content. Write out the base styles for your project, including general content styles such as font family, font size. Start adding styles on to the top of the page and want to move to the next section when you're happy and completed with the area you're working on, deploying a project. Create a custom readme. We strong uh, overriding this readme with a custom one. Template instead of readme template. Screenshot. Add a screenshot of your solution. Links built with blah 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 blah. Mm. What I learned, this is a recap to a major. Useful resources. Author, me. Me, me. Acknowledgements. Okay, cool. Uh, Anth codes. Oh, you're back in Newcastle. Oh, yeah. I suppose a lot of people who were kind of doing the nomad life were kind of bouncing around the kip had to kind of retreat home. It's uh, quite common. Mad that I was talking to you before the pandemic. It does feel like it was a decade ago at this stage. Hopefully we'll be able to kick all that stuff off again soon. I'll have to come up for uh, Northeast JS or is that what it was? Or is it Newcastle JS? I can't remember. There was a there was a thing that I used to do when I was up in Newcastle. Style guide. Oh, cool! We've got colors. This is brilliant. Background font. Yes, that was the thing I wasn't sure about. Okay, brilliant. Let's do this. Uh, six minutes. How far can we get in six minutes, folks? So I'm going to um I'm gonna do a little trick. Uh NPX Ember CLI at latest because we're um we want to use the latest version of Ember. And instead of Ember new, I'm gonna do Ember init. Oh that do you need to put in its what do we think? Do we want to... Okay, we're not going to override the readme. Do they have... Yeah, we want to do that. Yeah, so... Oh, apparently when you do Ember init, you don't do... Um, you don't pass in the... Folder. But uh, what Ember new does is it creates a new folder... But what Ember init does is it uh, it creates your Ember app inside the current folder that you're in, so you don't need to you don't need to create a new folder inside there. Which is pretty cool. It's useful. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I wonder if it's gonna init, get init for me as well. 
We shall find out. NPM installing packages. <sighs> this is why we have pretzel in the background. Let's have a look. What do we have? So... Oh, today, <laughs> yeah, today I learned. Yeah, git keep. It's an interesting one. Um, we used to need them more often in uh, Ember apps because I think in the past, if you didn't have something like the components or maybe the templates folder, it would actually crash things. So we used to have them everywhere. But now, now it's quite useful to kind of like give people a structure of the folders that they need because folders are a big deal in the ember world you know so it's it's quite nice it's it's got mixed uh mixed usefulness because i always recommend people who aren't used to ember to always 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 use generators and if you generate stuff it'll put it in the right folder and it'll create that folder for you so you don't need to worry about it uh, did it get in it? Get status. It did not. Eh? Get status. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff. Uh, didn't realize that it's a. Uh... Woo! I'm gonna reload here so that it knows that it's a get thingy. Bing bada boom. Boom. Initial commit. We know that we're in git now. Fantastico. Okay, so we have images. We should probably go in public. Uh and they they had an index HTML. So let's let's just pull the things into the right place. Page title. Let's put in our page title. Um, let's go back to our index HTML. Why are these in the head? Odd. <clears throat> this is seems to be what? Um do I have a profile? What? Ref equals ah question mark ref equals challenge. Yeah, it was just a weird. Uh, boop. We'll do it Twitter. page and get rid of you <coughs> remove it from here welcome page as well because it actually breaks styles nowadays which is a bit of a bummer uh we'll put this into our app styles for now um yeah i have I don't know why that's in the head. Ooh, it's got a... <coughs> Icon. Interesting. Put that in here for now. Don't know exactly what that's trying to do. And then 
do yeah we'll bring this icon in uh, and put that into our index HTML why not that should just be forward slash images fabricon we have a fabricon png Hunted mentor okay whatever if you want to do that that's fine folks and that's everything that we need for our index html boom right i'm going to go and do my pomodoro break pomodoro break howdy howdy oh we've got a little group of viewers now welcome welcome how is everybody this morning Sorry for my late stream. It is a little bit of a... A little bit of a mad morning. My wife had a dentist appointment, so I was I was working. I just couldn't stream because I needed to be on call for looking after my baby who was sleeping. So luckily she didn't wake up, so I was able to get plenty of work done. But, uh, alas, I could not stream. Um, so how is everybody? How how are people's holiday plans? For now, is it the second week in December? Kind of, yeah. <sighs> Christmas is coming. You celebrate Christmas, that is. Uh, let me have a look. See. Does look like we've got a bunch of people. Not a lot of chatters today, but that's okay. Plenty to have. Uh, oh, is that a min the me that I noticed? That is a min the me. Hello, welcome in the me. My, uh, uh, you joining us over lunch break? I think, uh, locks, if you're still there, I'm going to have to. I think, I wonder, can I refund your channel points? Uh, I can reject it. Oh, I can refund the points back to the user. <laughs> I'm, I've am i decided, Locks, that uh, I'm going to uh, not do the Rust stuff because... We've just only just started planning this thing, and I'd like to get at least the colors in the background. Um, boo. But you should have your channel points back. You've been refunded. It's okay. Not a problem. <laughs> you can you can spend them within the five minutes of next week. CSS stuff today. Yes, it is a front-end mentor challenge. So I have decided to uh, do... Uh, Rock, Paper, Scissors game, which is one of the front-end mentor challenges that they have. Doing it in Ember, of course. And Aiden Bennett, welcome, welcome. Oh, it's all of the, the crew in today. This is great. So, uh, yeah, it's great to see everybody. Hopefully we'll be able to make a tiny bit of progress. I... I, I can only stay for another Pomodoro, so it's going to be an hour-long stream, a short one. But um, I didn't want to. I didn't want to skip it. I like. I like the consistency of doing it every, every week. And uh, just managed to escape class just in time for more CSS stuff. Uh, here to help with CSS if needed. Struggling with my advent of code today. I'm I'm mighty impressed that everybody has the time to to do any advent of code stuff. I guess maybe I'm a bit skewed with two young kids. Time is not a time is not something that I have very much of. But uh, yeah, it's it's great that you're keeping at it, Min the Me. You built a toggle in Ember. Oh God. It's. It's funny because anybody who's thinking about that or doesn't really know would uh, would say that oh it's just a toggle that's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, toggles are can be a pain. 
it's funny that there's so many like little so many built in web things like select boxes or toggles or uh what is it um radio buttons that actually have really complex behavior you can have toggle between the in example input and the other personalized input oh fancy i have to check that out when in 14 seconds when uh, i can actually show it on screen <coughs> And here we go. Uh, so let me check out your link, Min the Me. Oh, of course, it's going to open it in the wrong window. Maybe if I, oh, come on. If I do this, then this, then this is going to open in the right window. It is. Ha ha. So let's, let's try day three. Uh, cool. Oh, wait, hold on a second. You said that you developed a toggle. You didn't tell me that you developed a animated ease in, ease out toggle. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> nice one. Nice one. Uh, so. The. Well. So, uh, for you to catch up, looks like you've already started this challenge. Uh, this is the the game that I'm going to try and build with um, at a front end mentor. You download all of the things, and it like tells you what to do essentially. So, uh, I'm going to quickly. <laughs> nice one, Aiden. Nice one, Aiden. Localhost. So there was a style guide in here somewhere. Style guide. The designs were created in the following widths. Why does that matter? I guess. So there's a gradient. Okay, so let's have a look. There was design. Original or desktop preview. So I assume that's the thing where you pick. So we have a rules model. Step one, step two, the house picked, step three, and then whoever wins. Win or lose. Okay, cool. That's interesting. So let's see if we can make a bit of a start on just this page today. Well, yeah, so the media queries, yeah, we probably will. Well, do you need media queries? Like, it doesn't look like there's all that much... I guess they're doing the you lose underneath instead of. But I don't think you need media queries for this. I think you could probably. Anyway, we'll see. Probably flex it, maybe. And you uploaded a 24 hour YouTube video? Why were you uploading a 24-hour YouTube video? Okay, <laughs> it's like a massive time lapse or something. Uh, okay, here we go. Boom! Challenged by Frontend Mentor, coded by Chris Manson. Sorry. I wasn't talking to you, Google. <laughs> you expected me to be better friends with media queries than with Flex. Yeah, I like Flex and, like, um, what is it? Grid. 
I was, uh, yeah, I, I never really understood, uh, never really understood CSS until, like, Flexbox and Grid came out, because then it, like, clicked with me, you know? Anyway, so let's, let's do this. Let's have a look. Uh, let's put in... HLS neutral header outline score text dark text background radial gradient so we're going to have to figure out a radial gradient because that's not something that I've ever done ooh So let's try it. So let's put in um, let's do a new file. Uh, global. Let's do Probably body that I want to do. What these are. Radial gradient. That doesn't look very radial. Circle at center. Circle at top. Ooh, that's interesting. That looked more like the, um... That does kind of look like the gradient. Although it's... I think I want it to be... Like... Darker at the bottom. It's kind of like doing it all the way down. Um, body. I don't really understand radial gradients, but that's good enough for now. Close enough for me for now. Uh, okay, so what else we got? Where's everybody? Uh, okay. Step one. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Score. I guess we can just do it all in the application. Because the modal... That can be, well, I guess if we want to have a bonus, we might want to be able to pick
Right, want both of these to be available. So you could pick rock, paper, scissors, and then you could pick the other one. So I'm gonna maybe do it in an index then. Uh, Ember G and blade. Totally don't need that, but anyway, I'll just do this. Oh no, I'll do a. You do a root index, what does it actually generate? I think it just gives you a template and like puts in. Okay, it's a root as well. I guess we don't need them. Uh, so this is this is rock paper scissors. And then the other one will be lizard spock. Maybe we could change index to RPS, rock paper scissors. Whatever. Uh, cool. And here we're going to have div score. Uh, oh, I need to. I think I want to have one. I think I want to add this as a like a. Copy full path. I do that. Yeah, there we go. So now we can actually see it here. Cool. Oh, you're recording an Ember video this weekend, Aiden. That's great. I've I recorded a, a YouTube video recently. I haven't uploaded or anything. I'm not very good at YouTube stuff. <laughs> uh, I want to get better. Um. My biggest issue at the moment is I want to make myself a little uh, auto cue, a little teleprompter, because yeah, I'm not very good at remembering lines, and uh, I try to have like a script behind the camera, and it looks very much like I'm not looking at the camera, which is a bit pants. Let's say la vie. So score, and then we've got a div. Uh, something. And then this could be this. Then this could be <laughs> Well, yes, so what I with this YouTube video, I was kind of like trying to up my game. Like I had two shots. One is exactly this setup um, where I'm doing programming on one screen. And then I had partially a script under the camera, this camera. But the start of the video is like in the room looking at me. So it wasn't this setup for all of the video. So that's the bit that made it challenging. Uh Whatever. And we have rock, paper, scissors. I have it as these. I guess I can just do now we have rock paper scissors up the top and that we can do your videos on Empress because of course you're using Empress blog for your your blog that's awesome I am very happy to hear that uh, so let's do inspect and let's make this so we can't just do score box margin auto okay, let's 
so we can make it That's awesome, Aiden. I really am going to be interested in um, having a look at that. If you ping me with the URL once it's up, let me know. Uh, I'll retweet it for sure. For sure. Okay, let's go in here and let's do global. Let's do another one. New file score box dot CSS. Have our index. We have a score box. Uh, boop. The score box can be uh, margin auto. I don't know what we're doing here for now. Um, did it give me colors? It's white, I guess. Um, there are 10 pixel solid white uh, order radius. What do we got? So here's the thing. If you, is it allowed, Aiden? Yes, it is allowed and encouraged. Incredibly encouraged. Um, I have a thing here, Uber layer, which is so cool. Where I can open an image, get streaming, rock, paper, scissors, and the... <sighs> what is it? Design... Oop. Original step one. And it gives me this kind of um, thing here where I can make things exactly line up, which is so much fun. I'm going to uh, pop that out because, yeah. And I can go back to my Uber layer and I can do a thing where you. <laughs> you can also, uh, you can do more or less transparent. You can also uh, toggle locking, so you can lock it. So, yes, yeah, so this is way too much. Border radius. Uh, what do we want? We want two, one pixel? Let's try one pixel. Uh, one pixel, and then we can do margin. I want maybe on top and bottom, so we'll do no, it's like this is how you get pixel perfect stuff. Uh, 600 with, oh, no, it's maybe 700 ish. Our, uh, border radius isn't right either. Well, it's also not right with, like three, three pixel. Uh, 20. That's about right. There we go. And then can put the score. You can do the score a bit. Score box dot score. That can also be and um, we also want If 
flex. Align items. Nope. Uh, justify items. Space between. Oh, justify content space between. Cool. And then my score back box probably wants to be have a size. 10 pixel, what a margin. 15 pixel. Does it have a different margin on the top and the bottom? <sighs> How odd. 22? 25? Odd. Then we probably want to use the same border radius, which makes me want to do it as a you're going to be practicing your Premiere Pro skills. So I used to do Premiere Pro and I have stopped using it because I, even though I had like a student I shouldn't have had, but I had a student license for it. It was just too much money. Uh, I couldn't justify it anymore. So now I'm using uh, DaVinci Resolve, which is free. And I, for my YouTube video, I bought like one of these packs for a tenor that had like all of these like wipes and like intros and things. So it's got like loads of over the top stuff. But I didn't have to do the work, so it's like it's interesting. Free-ish. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 alright, it's not so bad. Uh I'm going to What have we got? Oh, 150 maybe. Yeah, 150 by 150. It's... what? What is with these... 115? Oh my god. That mustn't be a, a fixed height thing. It must be just... Um, the width must be fixed because it's 150 and then the height is probably just with the padding. Uh, which we can do in a minute. And then we can do... Uh, yeah, so how do I do... Uh, CSS variables again. Uh, oh. No. Uh. Toggle locking. Turn it back off. Uh. Oh, nice. If you've got a license with the school, it's probably a, a great idea. Now we want to use our var border radius instead of trying to copy pasta it everywhere. Nice, 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 nice. Assuming that it's the same border radius. It's not the same border radius. <sighs> That's a bust. That doesn't seem like a great design, does it? Wouldn't you wouldn't you have the same border radius for the So it has 10, the inside one has a 10 border radius and the outside one has a 20. Madness. I, I could improve on the design. I just don't know that I want to. Um, Text and number. So now we want a display flex. Flex direction. Please name the 
name them the same. What am I naming the same? And also, yeah, so better get great inspired. Oh, you want me to make them the same? It's, I'm right though, am I? Like, it's odd that they're different. Yeah, yeah, the border are hideous. Yeah, it is odd. Yeah, yeah, okay, fine. Uh, I should probably... I should probably keep what I learned. I should probably keep a thing of, like, what I changed. So, yeah, they have a thing where they want you to, like, keep notes of stuff. Uh... I'm Space Ducks. Welcome, welcome, I'm Space Ducks. Um, well, no, because this... The border radius of the box shouldn't have... It, it's, it's not the... It's not the same. Like, you can have the same border radius. Do I uh, looking at this uh, root? I don't know which of the two is this what I should be doing. Like there's no reason why they can't have the same border radius. Like, you could decide if it's one or the other. It could be 10. It can, you can decide that if you want to. But they can have, both have the same border radius. Yeah, 20, 20 looks better, for sure. You're totally right, the pair of you. You are incredibly right. Um, I'm going to get the score in the right place, and maybe the rock, paper, scissors, and then I've got to go. Like, I'm going to leave this as go. It's go time, because I should actually have already left. Um, flex direction... Uh, cool, and then we want just justify content center. Align items, center. Ah, you can't win with this bloody thing. <laughs> okay, so we've got center, center. Uh, score is probably ah. So what's our font? They said something about our font. Star guide. Barrow semi condensed. Uber layer thing is fun, but it's uh, kind of annoying sometimes. Ah. How do I? Why is it not? Mm. Google Fonts used to just be like, here, copy and paste this into your... into your browser, but now they're like, making you download the whole thing. It's 
select the style. Where's that? Select this style. Ah, okay. So it wanted me to do 670. Do we need bold? No. So. Semi bold. We don't need italic. Ah, oh, here we go. This is all new. Ah! Dismiss. 600 and 700. I assume we don't need italic. Do I want to now import or do I want a link? Gonna take these because yeah, whatever. Uh, index h, oh, no, nope. index HTML. Drop them in here. Uh, cool. Then want the global. I'll just put in my font family. And then I think I want my. As the kind of like default, because we've only got 500 and 600. Oh no, 600. God, I need to read things and remember them. Yeah, 600. We don't have 500, which is the default. Uh, so now, there we go. We're starting to look a bit, starting to feel a lot like Christmas. And this radial thing, oh, that's why it's not working repeating because the height needs to be boom there we go <sighs> no wonder it wasn't working let's do that uh, that was in global CSS boom so now it looks better nice one Uh huh. Then we want. Uh, we'll do. Score box score. Uh, next HBS. Text number. Score box. What is this? This is like game oh we've got serious papa raiding with a party of six hello hello welcome welcome scorebox dot game welcome welcome first time chat raid time <laughs> welcome thanks for the uh thanks for the raid i will check out your channel Maybe later today. I'm actually going in 15 minutes-ish. Maybe a bit earlier. Um, but thank you for the raid. Um, what we're doing today is I am doing a front-end mentor challenge. Oh, excuse me. I'm trying to do a pixel-perfect thing, so I'm doing an overlay. So I'm doing a front-end mentor challenge, but I'm building it in Ember because I am an Ember developer, and I love doing Ember stuff. So we are right in the middle of it, and I'm trying to get it looking a little bit the way that I want it to look uh, before I have to go. Um, do oh, need to do this direction. What is that? That's a nice emoji. DX cat. Welcome, Demolition Man. Welcome... Luminosity. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I'm in the me with your Rodney hat. 
Rodney Christmas, is that Rodney Christmas? It is Rodney Christmas. Uh, column. What is this? We've got a new follower. I'm Space Ducks. Thank you for the follow. Virgin. Uh, it's going to be 10 20 PX or something because they do odd margins here. Uh, 15. Maybe it's 20. Yeah, 20. 30. Yeah. And then we want uh, I don't know. Uh, want weight seven hundred, so even bolder. Doesn't look right though. Oh, I need to do, um, oh, what is it, font, uppercase, I can't do that. Uh, one again? Getting them bunched together. Do 10 PX. I don't feck it now. Oh, you're going to record your Empress thing today. Nice. Font font size needs to be up. There we go. This is starting to look a bit better. I'm going to try and do it pixels, just so I can. Paper scissors. That's looking a bit better. Uh, it's just color. And actually, so it's not. Its font weight is supposed to be 600. It's semi-bold. Nice. Looking a bit right. And our line height needs to be... Oh, it needs to be more. Two. Looking pretty good. Close enough. Rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. Uh, you haven't used Ember.js yet. I'm a Vue.js man myself. So, Ember's pretty cool. I'm a very big fan of Ember. Like, obviously, we're just doing HTML and CSS here. And it's actual HTML and actual CSS. Um, I haven't done any JavaScript aspect of it yet. But the thing that's pretty cool is that I've got roots automatically there which is pretty cool um and when we get to the javascript script stuff it's all it's all pretty awesome the the key thing that i like the most is the fact that uh it is it is pretty standard html and css um yeah well aiden's interesting uh the fact that you're using Ember for your blog is almost incidental. Did you end up making a template yourself in the end, Aiden? Did you try that out? Or are you just using the Casper template? Uh, number, let's go score box. Um, score box score.
Ah, yeah, so that's the biggest one as well in the me says. Um, things look the same between projects. So when this project is done, any Ember developer... Um, will be able to come in and look at it and say, oh, I know where to find this thing. Uh, 50, 60 pixels. Yeah, it's looking a bit better. Um, oh, we don't need font weight 600 because it's already there. That's about right. Maybe a bit more, 65, 62. Five. Looking a bit better. The kerning is off on their thing. Like the gaps between the letters there is different to my gaps between the letters. Like it's like it's almost as if they're doing Like a double gap. Do they... What? That looks weird now that I've noticed it. Yeah, that's a weird... People put weird things in their designs. Okay, let's get the color in, and then we'll call it a day, because I need to go! Um, do we have a style guide? Primary. Score text. What is this? This is... Um, Yeah, I don't know what to call this. Highlight text. Uh, it's not score, it's this one. Uh, Boom. Oh, nope. Wrong one. Number. We want text. Boom. That's looking good, hey? I think that's looking pretty good. <laughs> and Sally Empress gone wrong. Not clickbait. Yeah, brilliant. Hello, Dan Monroe. Welcome, welcome. It's uh it must be very early for you <laughs> to jump in and say hello. Um But uh I am I am going, alas now. I need to go and grab a quick sandwich or something before I go and pair with Jen Weber which uh if she's around today um but yes it's been a it's been a good st stream it's been shorter than usual but we've made a bit of progress i will i will indeed say hello to jen for you uh, let's see if we can go and raid anybody uh let's see if there's any <laughs> nobody that i follow is on stream uh Twitch TV. Let's have a look in the uh, software and game development section. Is there anybody that I know? Um, nobody that I know. Alas. Unless anybody has a suggestion for a stream raid. I think we're just going to call it quits. 
Uh, yeah, so we'll just call it quits. Uh, I will be continuing on this for probably another two streams. Uh, next week will be my last stream before Christmas, I think. Um, so uh, hopefully I'll see you all there. And uh, have a have a great week. Have a great, great rest of the day if you're only starting yours. And I will see you later. Bye.